guys, this is Danny Nguyen Auto here. Welcome to another Pro Tools tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use Reverb. There's a few ways to use Reverb, but uh, today I'm just going to be showing you how to use, I'll show you um, uh, two ways to use Reverb. Okay, uh, what you need is an, some type of an audio. You know, it could be you, you know, talking, singing, or you uh, or a recording of you uh, playing an instrument, guitar, you know, whatever. And for me, I have a hi-hat here, so I'm just going to go ahead and play for you guys so you know what that sounds like. Okay, so to add reverb, just go to the insert section and select the, a reverb plugin that you want. Uh, I'm just going to use Dverb just because uh, I know that you guys have that. Okay, when the Dverb plugin pops up, you'll see that there's a bunch of different settings, input and mix, you know, different algorithms, hall, church, play, room 1, room 2, ambient, uh, different sizes, small, medium, large, and there's a bunch of other uh, settings over here, diffusion, decay, pre-delay, okay. If you're new to using a uh, reverb or just like any, any uh, type of plugin, uh, a good way to start is, uh, just go ahead to where it says factory settings over here, select that. And there's there's gonna be a list of uh, factory uh, settings already made for you. So, you know, you just experiment and just play around with what plugin that you what uh, settings that you like. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick medium hall for now. Okay, I'll just play it so you know how to sound. Another way of using a reverb is using the aux track. So go ahead and create aux track, go to track, click new, go over here, select aux input, and select mono. If you have a stereo instrument, a stereo uh, instrument recording, then select stereo. But for me, I have a mono source, a hi hat, so mono. I'm gonna select mono and click create. I already created one earlier already, so I'm just going to click cancel, okay, and I have a D-verb already set over here, so, you know, select solo, and you want to go over to the mix window, so click on window, go over mix, command keyboard shortcut, command equals, okay, and look for your aux track and your audio track that you just made, okay, here's my aux track that I just made. Okay, and you'll probably notice that there's a bunch of uh, uh, little faders over here, you see. What they are, they are sends. And what they do is they send levels. They just send like uh, levels to different uh, tracks in your session. So in my situation, I'm sending. So just go here, two bus three or whatever. As long as it hasn't been used yet. So in my situation, I haven't used bus nine yet. So. I'm going to click bus 9, and if the levels are not already as a uh, unit gain or 0, just put it there. If it's not, then uh, a keyboard, sh keyboard, keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcut would be option click, or I'll click on a, on a PC. Okay, and right now you're sending to bus 9, for, or actually what I'm doing is sending to bus 9. And over to the aux track, so what you want to do is go to the aux track, go to input, select, bus 9. If you select bus 1 over here, then you will select bus 1 over here as well. Or, you know, if you select bus 2 over here, then select bus 2 over here. You know, get the idea? So the idea behind this is that you're sending the levels in, on this track, the low, your signal levels on this track over to this track. Okay. And if you want to reduce the sound levels, you could bring this fader down. If you want to bring up the sound level, so you can bring this level up. You know. Also, if you want to increase the levels for your reverb, you can bring it up. If you're if you're hearing that, if you're seeing that there's too much reverb, you can bring it down. And that's what uh, doing uh, adding reverb this in this in this fashion allows you to have more flexibility. And also, you could use it for. Uh, other plugins as well, not just Dverb. You can use it for, you know, compression, you know, different, uh, 
different like effects, like modulation effects, double or crisp. You know, I just have a bunch of different one filter freaks. You can use a bunch of different stuff here. Also, this this allows you to uh, automate your uh, you know during certain passages or certain sections of your of your you know whatever recording you're recording. You know, if say like you know like a Lady Gaga song or something, you know you could bring up the your reverb and bring it down. Uh, I'll show you how to do automation in a different uh, video, but uh, for today, I'm just going to be showing you Reverb. This is Danny Nini Audio, signing out.